Welcome back to Country Cow Designs. So today, discussing leather straps. And you might recognize this bag. This is the No Sew Totes. I made one of these because we're making the No Sew Crossbody at the moment. And of course, I had to make one to match. It comes with leather straps as per the pattern. Now, it's so easy to make a bag, cut your leather strap, rivet it on, and be done with it. And that's cool. If that's the way you like it, absolutely fine. But leather is such a great material to work with in that you can mold it, you can shape it, and effectively you can take it to the next level and make it look extra posh. So for this video, I'm gonna show you how I made these straps extra posh, show you how you can do it, it's not that hard, and it'll just add a little something to your bag making. Hope you enjoy. So to get started, you're gonna need a few things prepared ready for this. So you're gonna need some extra tools. So this is an edge beveler. They come in various sizes. This is a size three, higher the number, the more you'll cut from the edge of your leather. So this is number three, it's kind of in between, but perfect for this. You're gonna need a slicker. So this is like an old tattoo one that I've had for years. This is a new one, which I'm just trying out at the moment. You're going to need something to soften and protect the edges. So this is Tokono, comes in various colours. So for today, we'll be just using the clear. It's a bit easier and more forgiving to work with. So that's really nice. Relipa, that'll be at the very end, just add extra protection and a bit of gloss to the straps. Sandpaper. Now, leather can be a bit like wood in that you use chisels, sandpaper, things like that. So a bit of sandpaper just to really soften the edges up. But the first thing we're going to use is a, a die just to cut a nice curve to the edge of the leather. So you'll see I've got my leather here. So I just want to find one that is going to match. Yeah. So you can see that fits the edge of the leather. So I'm going to use this. There's other versions of this, bigger ones, smaller ones. This little kit is really affordable. Uh, so all the links will be in the description for all of these tools. But this is nice and affordable. I'm going to cut a nice round edge to the bottom of my strap uh, and then we'll move on. So the next step that we're going to do after we've done our rounded edges is get our edge beveler. So I said this is number three, which is kind of an average size. You can go smaller and bigger, depending on how thick your strap is. But it doesn't matter too much. You just try and knock off the corners. So my tip with this is try to do it in one continuous motion and you'll find you'll get the best finish then. So I tend to start anywhere on the strap, to be honest, and I just put it in place and they just want to push it along the leather. This is actually quite satisfying. And you'll see you end up with the corner being cut off as you go. Now, if you're careful, you can leave it in place and just carry on along your strap. Take it off the corner there. And that's what you want. Of course, you wanna go around the entire strap. The ends, we have curved it, get a bit tricky, but it's okay, just take your time. If you do slip and it's not quite as good as you were hoping, don't stress. Again, in a minute, we'll be finishing this off a bit further. So once you've done the top side of the leather, flip it over. So this would be the wrong side or the flesh side. You want to do exactly the same. Now, depending on what leather you have, sometimes this side can be a little bit harder to do this because the leather isn't quite finished as much. But generally, you can just want to take off the edges. The same again. So now we move on to sanding the edges. So you'll see here that we've knocked off the corners of our strap, but we want to go a little bit further than that. Even if you cut it with a really sharp blade, you will find that the leather will have a little bit of roughness to it. Not too much, but this is where we get a really nice finish. Now we can sand the edges a bit like we would do with a piece of wood. And with light wood, you start with a rough high grit or a low number uh, for your grit sandpaper and then you basically work up through the stages with a little bit of effort we can just make this a really nice rounded edge 
And then when we come to the next stage of actually burnishing the leather, it will be a lot easier. So I'm just going to get some, I'm actually using 1500 grit, which is quite high for starting with, but this is not too bad a finish already. If you've got some rougher leather, you can start with a lower number, say 500, 700. And I'm just going to work the leather, sanding as I go. Try and keep that rounded edge I already have. Now, if you're working with a with a, a rougher sandpaper, you may want to just go with one direction for a while, and that might help you finish. But because I'm working with a high grit number, I'm just going to go straight in, going back and forth, and back and forth. This is probably the most time-consuming part of what we're trying to achieve here. The edges here. This is where you can really get a nice. A nice edge as you work around the edge of your curved strap end. So as I said, take your time with this. This is where you're going to really, really get your straps to the next level and make it look really good. So I just spent, I don't know, probably 10 minutes just sanding the edges of this strap. And I think you agree, it's already looking quite nice actually. Now the more time you spend doing that the better finish you're going to get but it's kind of one of those diminishing returns at some point you've got to accept that it is what it is and I'm not a perfectionist but I think that's looking loads better already. Now this is my favourite part of this process is using well basically burnishing the edge of the strap. So I'm going to be using Tokenol for this. This is the clear one. It's a bit easier to work with. You have other ones like darker, uh, darker colours, but you've got to be more careful as you place it on the edge. So I'm using the clear stuff with my. This is a new slicker. This for me by far is the most enjoyable part of the process. You could use water, by the way. If you don't have any of this, you can actually use this with water. But for me, Tokenol, which is kind of like a, it's almost like a glue. I get a better finish and it's a bit easier to work with. So some people have like special applicators they put it on. I've never done that. I just dip my finger in, get a little bit on, tip of my finger and I just dab it on along the edge. Just a little bit. I have a habit of putting on too much, but you just want enough just to cover the edge now get your slicker and i'm just now going to basically rub up and down the edge of this leather yeah i'm going to do this with a lot of pressure or do it super fast just nice continuous motion just rubbing the edge of the leather it's nice to perhaps view it as molding the edge of the leather or so molding molding the fibers yeah see i've got probably a bit too much token out on here but that's okay i'll wipe it off later now as you'll see i start with the the biggest groove of my slicker just to get it going i do that a little bit and then i move on to the smaller groove i'm just helping to create that shape just help to create that rounded edge and now you'll see that I've got a quite a nice polished edge. If I show you the other side of the strap, you can probably see the difference. This is hasn't been treated and this has been treated. It's got a nice gloss feel to it. This will dry over time. And this is why we take off the corners of the strap. Because if we left them on and then went straight to burnishing, you'd actually mushroom the edge of the strap and that would look ridiculous. So by taking the edges off, sanding it smooth, and then burnishing the edges, it gets really nice rounded edge. So well, again, I'm going to go all the way around the whole strap and do this one. Again, I won't make you watch me do this. I really enjoy this stage. I'm probably going to take ages doing this bit. And here we go. So. That probably again took me about 10 minutes uh, just to go around all 
the edges of the strap and you'll see that it's already yeah it's looking really nice isn't it when you run your finger down the edge it just feels nice and smooth so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a bit of Renipa. i have no idea if i'm saying that correct but this is really nice leather balm it's not particularly cheap but it lasts ages i bought this years ago so i'm just going to get a sponge in there don't need much also smells amazing as well and i'm just going to rub it up and down the strap And this helps just get a really nice finish to the leather. Helps to sort of nourish it, like moisturising basically. Now I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it just brings out the colour a little bit more in the strap. I also like to run it down the edge. So I'm just going to do that up and down the entire strap. Just taking a bit of time. This will protect the strap, add a bit of colour to it. And then what I'll do is I'll get a dry cloth afterwards and just buff it off a little bit, get rid of the excess. And then the strap will be done. So there you go, all done. I brought Joe in to model it. So you've seen this bag before probably, but yeah, some extra fancy straps. Now the reason why I made this is because the final prototype for our Noso crossbody, which is a similar concept, was made from the same leather. This is Adam's next pattern. So of course, I had to make a matching. So it's got matching leather straps, matching leather bag, matching hardware. But this one's got a turtle clasp instead. Yeah, that's your little touch, isn't it? It is. So this is the next pattern coming out. So if you like the Noso tote, you're gonna like this as well. This has been requested so much, so we've eventually got off a backside and got it done for you guys. So that'll be the next video and hope you like it. Thanks for joining us. Bye.